Agora. What you need in a clutch. Permanent magnet brakes. Electromagnetic direct current permanent magnet brakes operate similar to spring applied brakes but have some unique properties. Electromagnetic permanent magnet brakes are designed to stop and hold a rotating shaft or to simply hold the shaft in place. Their function is opposite from a traditional electromagnetic brake. When no electric power is going to the brake, the brake is considered engaged and holding. The two main reasons for using these brakes are safety and accuracy. Typical applications are medical equipment, robotics, factory automation, servo and stepper motors, door and gate systems. The key components to the brake are the permanent magnets, polarized DC coil with optional friction material, armature, armature spring and hub. Permanent magnet brakes transmit torque via magnetic attraction and use a DC electromagnetic field to release or counteract the permanent magnet. Brakes are engaged magnetically and disengaged electrically. Permanent magnet brakes are polarized in order to cancel the field from the permanent magnets. The energized coil creates an opposing magnetic field. When voltage or current is applied to the brake, the coil becomes an electromagnet. This produces magnetic lines of flux. The flux travels through the coil, counteracting the flux created by the permanent magnets, releasing the magnetically attracted armature disc and creating an air gap, so rotation is possible. When the power is removed from the coil, the magnetic flux created by the permanent magnets in the base of the brake is free to travel through the coil shell, creating a magnetic attraction between the coil shell and the armature. Conversely, if the brake coil's polarity is the same as the permanent magnets, then the magnetic field becomes amplified and the flux from the permanent magnet and the coil becomes additive and the brake torque can be boosted by up to 100%. Since the hub is attached to the armature, hub and the shaft going through the hub are either dynamically stopped or held in place. The difference between the two is that during dynamic stopping, heat is generated, so the brake has to be sized to handle the energy during braking. With a holding only application, only the static torque needs to be considered. Most permanent brakes have a riveted connection between the armature and spring, and a solid connection to the hub, so the brakes are inherently zero backlash, which can be critical in medical and other high precision applications. Unlike spring applied brakes, which are either on or off, permanent magnet brake torque can be controlled. As voltage current is increased to the brake, it allows the rare earth permanent magnet field to become stronger than the coil, so that braking force can be gradually controlled. This is important in applications like escalators, where an abrupt stop is undesired. In general, permanent magnet brakes have a smaller diameter and are lighter in weight than spring-applied brakes. This allows them to fit into applications where size or weight are critical. To have consistent results, a constant current power supply should be used. If not, the resistance will increase as temperature increases, and there can be a difference between disengagement at ambient versus disengagement at a higher temperature. So if a constant current supply is not used, there needs to be acceptable overlap between the two conditions to assure brake disengagement. Brake coils are normally 90 or 24 volts DC, but there are a wide variety of specialty coils available. To reduce engagement time, a diode can be used to help collapse the magnetic field faster. Permanent Magnet Brake Advantages Since torque is directly controlled by flux, a brake can be tuned to provide a softer stop in an application versus having full torque applied. When coils are energized, an air gap is present, which completely releases the armature, resulting in zero drag. Since permanent magnet brakes do not use springs, 
the overall diameter of the brakes is smaller for a given torque size. Because the brakes are smaller, their weight is also less, which can be an advantage in some applications. High torque series brakes are available with stronger magnets or improved flux paths. Brakes have a riveted spring armature, which eliminates backlash in the brake. Standard magnetic material can accommodate temperatures up to 140 degrees Celsius. Additional special materials are also available to accommodate higher temperatures for some series. Agura. What do you need in a clutch?